My name is Margaret Saunders. I was married to a lovely clergyman called Teddy. Um, I was born in London in 1932. I came to know Jesus when I was um, uh, about seven years old. We'd been on a seaside holiday in Cornwall and I can remember kneeling down beside my bed um, one night um, and just um, sharing my heart with him and saying I want to be your follower for the rest of my life. And that was 80 years ago. Um, and he has been so faithful so faithful ever since. So I ha have three children, I have three grandchildren, and I have three great-grandchildren who are all a great joy. Um, my husband Teddy died in 2004. Um, he'd been ill for um, some months um, and he was just very weary at the end of his life. As I look back to March, um, life was just very peaceful and quiet. Um, I'm not a great one for going out in the winter and uh, so we suddenly started being extraordinary things on the news about some virus that was coming over from China. My, my son Jeremy who lives with me, he was teaching me to use a computer uh, but I kept pressing the wrong button so that was hopeless, I was never going to be able to do that but he set it up so I would be able to, if, if he had gone back to London, I was one of the people who was well off flu paper, didn't have to go out and do any panic buying. I think growing up in the war was a very good experience for me because um, in the war things were really scarce. People had to dig up their, um, their front gardens in order to grow vegetables. I remember things got very scarce. I remember there was a lot of fear about. I do remember the day that war was declared. It was on a Sunday morning. My father took my elder brother and I to church and the rector brought his um, radio, it was just a little old-fashioned radio, and we sat um, in the ch little church hall and um, he, he had turned this on and this um, man's voice um, just said, war is declared. And I thought, well, what does that mean? And as children, it was really important that we could ask questions and people could explain to us what it was. And I have been so struck in this last pandemic that we're going through now at how much fear there is. It's almost like fog, these horrible fogs we used to have in London, that wherever it is, whatever people say, there's that atmosphere of fear. And I've been finding it um, really quite a challenge um, to, to not keep reacting in fear, but to be able to um, call out um, to, to Jesus and to know that he is faithful and he will protect us. So Advent reminds us looking forward, looking forward to Jesus coming and he is coming again. He said it, he always keeps his promises and he's coming again differently, not as a baby in Bethlehem, but he's coming as the King, the King of Kings, the Sovereign Lord. And um, I don't know what that's going to involve, but I want to be ready. And I believe that he has a great harvest for us all to, believe, to be involved in. And I find at the beginning of Luke's Gospel, chapter one, when um, Zechariah, the high priest, um, is in the temple and, and the angel comes and speaks to him. And the angel says, this is a message for you from God. And God has heard the prayers that you have stopped praying. And I thought, wow, God's still listening to those prayers. He's still remembering those prayers. He hasn't forgotten. And so I'm hanging on to those prayers and encouraging all my friends and family, let's keep praying. Mm -hmm.